Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today I have a double all over grey and a double fairy loot unboxing for you guys. So these four have all arrived in the last week. I do still have a couple of February boxes that are unaccounted for. I'm expecting a February Abraxas box and the Goldsboro Science Fiction and Fantasy Fellowship box. So you can expect to see those in my next unboxing video whenever that will be. I have also recently subscribed to the adult fairy loot so that is going to be coming from next month as well. So you can expect to see some more hella big unboxings from me. But today I have four separate boxes to show to you guys. We have two fairy loots. These are the January and the February monthly box and if you guys are unfamiliar with fairy loot they are a UK based young adult monthly fantasy subscription and in each of these boxes you'll get a brand new hardback book and a selection of bookish goodies these were also sent to me by the team over at fairy loot to show to you guys so thank you very much to fairy loot for that I also have two Illumicrate unboxings although these ones are slightly different this one is the February box Illumicrate are a UK based sci-fi and fantasy subscription box they do monthly boxes special editions all of that good stuff but they also do a quarterly contemporary romance box called Afterlight which is what this one is. Now this one was sent to me by the team over at Illumicrate to show to you guys so thank you so much to Illumicrate for that and this one I am a subscriber of, I pay for myself. I do have a discount code for Illumicrate as well if at the end of this video you would like to get your hands on your own Illumicrate subscription you can enter the code BECCA5 at checkout and that will get you a discount on a three or six month subscription. So let us get into these boxes. I I don't think I know what the books for any of these are apart from the February fairy loot and I've heard that that edition is gorgeous but we're gonna start off with the fairy loots I just want to see if I can work out which one is the January one so I want to open that one first January fairy loot the oh I like the art card we also have in here a different format of spoiler card from fairy loot so I'm going in blind but you can pause here if you'd like to read the spoilers and the theme for January is monsters within so first off we have an enamel pin this one is inspired by Scythe by Neil Shusterman which is one of my favorite series fairy loot have just announced a a special edition of Scythe as well which I'm really tempted by because I do love this series and I also really like this pin which says love remains mortal we also have this maybe a bookmark yes it says Aaron metal bookmark I do like fairy loose metal bookmarks as well they're really pretty so this is the design and on the spoiler card it says that this character is from the book of the month which i don't know what that is as of yet <laughs> we then have this which is a monsters of verity by v schwab jigsaw puzzle oh the art for that is absolutely gorgeous i'm assuming that's august does it say how many pieces this is i need to do my subscription box puzzles i think i've got maybe five of them now and i do really like jigsaws they'd be perfect as well because they won't take me very long next up we have a james herondale from the infernal devices trinket dish i've just realized how all of these tie to the theme it makes sense to me now there's the design on that one i like the um black and gold designs of the majority of fairy loose dishes next up we have something fabricy cushion cover maybe tea towel maybe this one says lexi ryan at the bottom so i'm going to assume that it's is it these hollow bows the fairy story and it says these are the hours of spies and thieves this matches the color palette of this room i've just noticed and then right at the bottom just before we get to the book we have the tarot cards of the month so in every fairy loot you get two tarot cards and eventually you will have a full deck and i've been really excited for these ones because they're inspired by red rising which is one of my favorite series and i think the ones in february are also going to be red rising inspired but these are cassius and severo two of my favorite favorite characters i'm obsessed i'm just obsessed with that series i already just really want to reread it and i only read it in the second half of last year okay on to the book of the month which i i probably knew what this was at one point but i've forgotten but in here as well we have the monthly fairy scoop which is the newsletter the bookmark with the spoiler card art on it and also a letter from the author on the back of this art card and the fairy loop book for january is 
Only a Monster Can Kill a Hero. Is that what it's called? Oh no, it's called Only a Monster. I was gonna say that's a really long title by Vanessa Len. Have not heard of this book. Actually, did somebody post a picture of this in my Patreon Discord last night? Very possibly, but this is really pretty. It says on the back, don't forget the rule. No one can know what we are, what you are. You must never tell anyone about monsters. As usual, this is a fairly exclusive edition. The only difference in the cover, I think, is that it has a different colorway to the original, but I will overlay the original cover over the top so that you guys can see the difference. But in addition to that, we have stencil sprayed edges. We also have, these are really pretty, illustrated end papers, and they're different on both sides. We also have foiling on the naked hardcover. Really like the color of that purple. And as usual, it's also signed by the author. So as you guys are aware, I don't know much about this, so I will read the inside dust jacket. In every story, there is a hero and a monster. It should have been the perfect summer. Sent to stay with her late mother's eccentric family in London, 16-year-old Joan is determined to enjoy herself. She loves her nerdy job at the historic Holland house, and when her super cute co-worker Nick asks her on a date, it feels like everything is falling into place. Then a good Samaritan attempt gone wrong sends Joan spinning through time and her life quickly begins to unravel. Her family aren't just eccentric, they're monsters with terrifying hidden powers. And Nick isn't just a cute boy, he's a legendary monster slayer who will do anything to bring them down. As she battles Nick, Joan is forced to work out the beautiful and ruthless Aaron Oliver, heir to a monster family that hates her own. She'll have to embrace her own monstrousness if she is to save herself and her family because in this story she is not the hero. Interesting! I do hope I enjoy this. It's giving me slight um, Monsters of Variety vibes just with the she's not the hero line, which is a V Schwab duology that I didn't actually love all that much. But as usual, down in the comments, please let me know what your favorite item from this month's fairy loot is. I would say that mine is probably the tarot cards just because it's, it's Red Rising. And I think in terms of the items in this box, they're all like, solid items from Fairly, but nothing is like jumping out to me in particular as being like, oh my god, I love this one. So moving on to February, I know what the book is in this one. It is Daughter of the Moon Goddess, but whatever else is in here, this is a really heavy box. So cracking up. There goes the spoiler card. Okay, so the theme for February is To the Moon and Back. As I said, I already know that the book is Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sulin Tan, which I had a feeling it was coming in a subscription box, which is why I haven't bought it, but it has an absolutely stunning cover. But sticking my hand straight in here, we have this, which is a Present City pendant. Oh my God. I'm not a huge fan of necklaces from subscription boxes, but I'll make an exception because it's Crescent City and I'm obsessed. We know I'm obsessed. We also have a pair of socks. These ones are inspired by the Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern and they have a key pattern on them. We now have a fabric item which is a tote bag which I think is inspired by Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Yeah, it says a Moon Goddess tote bag inspired by the book of the month. The colours on here are interesting because the book has like a really pastely toned cover but it's pretty and I have a ton of tote bags from subscription boxes. They're not my favourite items because I have so many but I will say they do always come in handy and I always grab them whenever I'm going anywhere. Totes down the side here it seems we have a set of bookends which is why this box is so heavy. These ones aren't inspired by anything. They're just celestial themed that also tied together but if I line them up like this I think I can show you guys without detaching them they're really pretty and I have quite a few sets of bookends can't lie but they always come in handy because I'm always putting books in places and need something to hold them up so a very welcome item then right down in the bottom of the box we have the tarot cards which are Darrow and Mustang as is it the king and queen of pentacles oh my god I love these so much. And then the final item is a art print inspired by Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. Okay, so I've heard so many amazing things about this book. I've seen people saying it's the most beautiful edition of a book that they've ever seen. So I am intrigued, but in here we have a letter from the author on an art print as usual. We have the bookmark and the fairy scoop. What's the theme for next month? Threads of Fate. And it is for fans of Cersei, the Raven Boys, Ray Bearer and the book of the month, whatever that is. I don't think I know what the March book is. Is that the right way around? Nope. Ooh, 
As I said, it is Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sue Lin Tan. I will overlay the original cover over the top so that you guys can see the difference. It seems like Fairy Loot has gone with, oh my god, the edges. I've just seen the edges. They've gone with a different colorway on it with like a really muted like pink, purple and blue, which is, it is stunning. And look at those printed edges. We also have illustrated end pages in here, which are once again different on both sides. And under the dust jacket, oh. We have some foiling, which is it's a lot more simple, I would say, or like smaller than what Fairy Loot really do, but it is really pretty. And as usual, signed by the author. So I was going to buy a copy of this book because I've heard really good things about it, but I, I don't actually know what it's about. I think it has a romance in it. That's all I can tell you. So the dust jacket says, there are many legends about my mother. Raised on the moon, Xing Yin was unaware she was being hidden from the celestial emperor who exiled her mother for stealing the elixir of immortality. But when her magic flares and Xing Yin's existence is discovered, she is forced to flee her home, leaving her mother behind. Alone, powerless and afraid, Xing Yin makes her way to the Celestial Kingdom, a land of wonder and secrets. In disguise, she trains alongside the Emperor's son, mastering archery and magic, despite the passion which flames between them. To rescue her mother, Xing Yin embarks on a quest, confronting legendary creatures and vicious enemies. But when forbidden magic threatens the kingdom, Xing Yin must challenge the ruthless Emperor, leaving her torn between losing all she loves or plunging the realm into chaos. Inspired by the legend of Chang'e the Moon, goddess this captivating debut weaves chinese mythology into a sweeping adventure of love and family immortals and magic interesting it sounds good and yeah it is a really really gorgeous edition favorite item from this box i do look at those i do really like the book but my favorite item and the one that i'm probably gonna get the most use out of which is like immediately useful to me is the bookends i know exactly where i'm gonna put those they're going on top of my romance bookshelf upstairs where i keep my um hardback romances because they're just like balanced up there and they keep leaning sideways. Moving on to the February Luma Crate. The theme for February is Bad Blood and I believe that the book is is it River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. I got a copy from Book of the Month. But here are the spoilers. I as usual will be going in blind and the theme for March is A Life of Its Own and the book for that is going to be Gallant by Lee Schwab which I had a feeling that Luma Crate were going to do Gallant. Dipping right in here, this is a big box, so I'm intrigued to see what's in it. But the first thing we have is a nondescript box. A trinket tray. And this one is inspired by Medusa. There's a really big box in here, but I'm going to save that until last. So next up, this is mysterious. It's scented. It smells like sweets. So I'm going to guess it like a bath bomb. This one is a butterfly dust bath fizzer inspired by Poison Study. And it is orange scented. We've got some glitter in here as well, which I think you guys can just see. It smells really good. It smells like orange refreshers. We also have a fabric item, which is a little pouch. It says, if longing is madness, then none of us are sane. And that is from Cry as War by Nina Varela. Oh my God, is this the return of the collectible character coins? Oh my God, please tell me it is. I need to look at the spoiler card. Yes, it says one of our most popular items is making a comeback featuring Alex and Henry from Red, White and Royal Blue. Not too excited that it's Alex and Henry but I don't know if you guys can see I loved the character coins from Illumicrate Crate and they switched them up to enamel pins and it seems like they're switching them back. Honestly day made. <laughs> Honestly, like, I'm so thrilled. I'm so thrilled about that. Okay, last one is this big old whatever it is. Oh, it's a um plastic straw cup thing. I make ice lattes in these. And this one says, is it Ilsul Station? Inspired by a memory called Empire. And then finally, we are onto the book, which as I said, I think is A River Enchanted. I'm excited to see this edition because I like the UK edition more than the US. So I think I'm gonna like this one more than the book of the month one. And this will be the edition that I'm keeping. Oh, it's got pretty edges on it. Oh. Okay, so this is a completely exclusive cover. So I'll overlay the original over the top. It's really pretty. And we also have stencil sprayed edges on this one. We also have foiling on both sides of the hardcover and illustrated end pages. Although I think, yeah, on this one, they are the same on both sides. This one, I think, is Rebecca Ross's first adult fantasy. So this one, if I remember correctly, is set on an island of mischievous sprites and girls start to go missing so a bard is invited back home to try and hunt for the missing girls and i haven't read anything from rebecca ross i do have one of her ya books but i haven't read it yet but i am interested in giving this one a go at some point in the future let me know 
favorite item from this box. I'm really excited about the return of the coins. I can't lie. I will use the bath bomb, so that's a useful item for me. And I will also use the tumbler, so a useful item. But I think that my actual favorite item is the book because I do really like this cover. And then finally, we just have the afterlight, which is tiny. So afterlight is a contemporary romance quarterly subscription from Illumicrate where you don't get fandom items you just get like a couple of like useful self-care items in here here are spoilers if you guys would like to read them there's something scented in here because this piece of paper smells good so first off we have this little bag which says luna and wild bloom in the moonlight interesting is this where the scent is coming it's hard to tell because when the scented items in boxes the smell contaminates everything so you can't track it down oh no it is from this what else is in here this is so cute i don't know what everything is okay you also get 20 percent off your first order at lunar and wild which is cool but in here we have this little card that says i am worthy of love and it has a moon on the back we also have this little moon wax smell which is where the smell is coming from it smells it's very floral which isn't my usual but it does smell good and it's shaped like a crescent moon i recently got myself an electric wax warmer as well so i can actually use this and then we have this little roll of paper oh this is long it's like a little self-care kit like a like a little spiritual healing kit this is really cute because as well as that we also have teeny tiny little rose quartz in here it says for love wax melt and affirmation kit cozy up during the long winter nights with our wax melts including a rose quartz tumble stone which symbolizes love i really like that and then our other item in here is a tote bag again and the quote on here is from sarah williams and it says though my soul may set in darkness it will rise in perfect light i have loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night and then the last thing in here is the book which feels like a little hardback and this one is delilah doesn't care by ashley herring blake i did not i've read two ashley herring blake books i did not know that this existed oh and it's delilah green doesn't care not just delilah doesn't care it is also signed by the author and has red sprayed edges oh no that orange actually this is also an exclusive cover to a crate so i will of course overlay the original over the top but i'm really excited to read this so let's see what the synopsis says delilah green swore she would never go back to bright falls nothing is there for her but memories of a lonely childhood her life now is in new york with her photography career finally gaining steam and her bed never empty sure it's a different woman every night but that's just fine with her when delilah's estranged stepsister pressures her into photographing her wedding delilah finds herself back in bright falls once more she plans to breeze in and out but then she sees claire sutherland her stepsister stuck up bestie and decides that maybe there's some fun and a little retribution to be had after all as a busy single mother claire depends upon a life without surprises and delilah green is an unwelcome surprise at first but when they're forced together during the many wedding preparations claire isn't sure she has the strength to resist delilah's charms even worse she's starting to think she doesn't want to i mean delilah is hot i I also would not resist her charms. <laughs> so yeah, I think that this might be my favorite afterlight. I mean, the reason I subscribed to this is because I wanted a romance subscription and the fact that it's quarterly isn't overwhelming. So the items are just like an additional extra for me, I guess, but I do really like this. And I'm actually gonna have a look into this company because I got the 20% off discount code and see what else they have. So there you have it. Those were all of my unboxings. Where are my books? I've got a nice little stack of very pretty books here, but um, thank you so much to Illumicrate and Fairy Loot for sending me the boxes that they sent to me to show to you guys and if you would like to check out any of these boxes I will put a link in my description box to their websites and all of their social media but aside from that guys please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to if you head to my description box you'll find a link to my Goodreads Instagram Twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as a link to my bookish candle website the Instagram for that and a 10% off discount code but that's it from me today guys bye Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate You say you're a go Where nobody knows With guns hidden under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no